Hello, hello, my darling souls, and welcome to my channel. Today we have um, a special reading. Why? Because I just randomly channeled from the universe, from the space, that this reading should be called You Need This Message and You Currently Manifesting It. I don't know what you're manifesting right now, but something within your energy is manifesting currently. And since uh, if you are on my channel and you um, resonate with my videos or you resonate with my energy, doesn't matter. Um, this message should be for you. But of course, listen to your intuition. But for some people, this will truly be uh, important. And uh, let's see, what are you manifesting? What kind of message you need to receive currently? So you may choose from uh, those three stars yellow red or purple take your time use your intuition and i'm also very very interested uh in what <laughs> what's going on what exactly are you manifesting right now so let's start with pile number one a uh, yellow star hello pile one whoever chose the yellow star and let's see what message you need to receive what are you currently manifesting uh, that the universe wants to give you uh, this message and let's see why you actually need to know about it if you already manifesting it like why maybe you need more information to actually uh, make it happen make it come true into reality let's see pile one what exactly are you manifesting currently and um, what message you need to receive and look there is a message funny thing um, I already I already channel something here I will let you know uh, just let give me some time to confirm several things here several things I want to confirm so you're definitely manifesting a certain change right now. It's already around you. What kind of change? Movement. Movement in love, in emotions, in um, maybe could also be abundance, but we'll see. The sun, yes, it's like a moving energy right now uh, being manifested. Uh, around you and maybe you manifested your true love maybe you manifested marriage maybe you manifested uh, fallen in love or somebody who's coming towards you maybe it's a specific person I don't know uh, you know better what were you trying to manifest and uh, the change is coming it's coming your way it could be a person could be the energy of it uh, most mostly I feel it's love it's about love it could be also friendship but if you somehow can re uh, relate your manifestation with this reading that's fine but mostly I sense love energy uh, romantic energy or just feelings emotions happiness and the change is already going on but what kind of message you need to receive? And it's a false person. Something about false person. Some, something you need to know. Ten of Pentacles. Definitely. The High Priestess. And Ten of Swords. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Guys. Uh, very interesting information comes through. I hope you see the cards. I want I want you to see the cards this time, actually. For some reason, I want you to see what I see. Um, so I'm asking, what's what about the false person? And it tells me it's not really a person. It's the energy or a secret that someone's keeping from you. So someone's keeping a secret from you that they actually finished something. Maybe somebody separated with somebody else and they coming towards you. Especially if you were in a third party. Uh, or doesn't have to be a third party. Let's not go that way. I'm just saying. Or somebody may be manifested towards you who is coming either from afar. 
or this person just recently finished a relationship or they are planning to have a relationship with you because uh, they realized what they need in life and what they don't need they left it behind but you not aware either you're not aware of this information or a person at all yet or you're not aware that a specific person um, have certain plans for you but this person is not telling you exactly why and false it's not because they're trying to um, lie to you or hide something from you I don't see it here like hidden uh, connection that you're not gonna be aware of or somebody's gonna cheat on you no this is more of something they left behind or something they're not telling you what happened in the past uh, but it all happened for the sake of you coming towards you or if you don't know this individual this happening because in the future they'll be with you i don't know what's going on and i ask what exactly they want from you and i have seven of pentacles three of wands and the empress they are waiting for the right moment to approach you in order to um, have a family with you or in order to offer you something stable again if you have other uh vision here in, instead of a relationship you can you know put it together guys but here i strongly feel a connection a relationship romantic connection somebody is moving towards you you're not aware of this or they're not telling you the truth right now you something's and why um this message is for you because you don't know a certain information about a certain person who is actually headed towards you right now the change is already happening uh Era, like something's going on already something's changing in their life already not in yours yet maybe but you should know that something good is coming and soon you will find out uh, how you will find out either they'll message you either somebody will let you know it's it could be uh, information from somewhere else somebody else either they call you or you just hear the news about them and i hear seven uh seven days up to seven weeks even seven weeks is too much here i would say but um something is truly changing here you're not aware that the universe created all this situation for them in order to come to you whatever it means to you i don't know i'm just channeling guys i'm here to give you information okay um I don't know what's going on. I don't know if you are waiting for uh, a specific person, you manifest a specific person, or this is somebody that you don't even know, or you know, or whoever they are. There is a person. Uh, I I don't know. I wanna I wanna open a couple more cards for you guys. I'm very curious about. Can you know this person, or can you? If right now you're thinking of somebody, right? Let's say that. If you are guessing right now, is this the person you're thinking of? Is it them? <laughs> Probably. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you know. You're expecting. But the thing is, you feel like it's nearly impossible for them to do. It's like you know they coming, but you don't know if they will be able to put themselves together or fix the obstacle or change things around are they strong enough are they um do they believe in themselves en enough to do that do they want you enough to do that i don't know it feels like you know it's them but you not sure if they will even ever do that okay for others if you don't have anybody in mind um who is this person uh, look at this it could be your uh, new admirer or somebody you had conversation with or about to have within the next few weeks you may start talking to this person but i see uh, either it was already happened or you already you will have a certain connection but this is going to be like more friend connection or just like you know when people get to know each other or maybe you're gonna be eating together or um, 
whatever is it related to but soon you will find out who they are and what they want from you but in reality um, the universe wants to tell you here the main message that you need to hear is the universe created this situa whole situation it could even be a very complicated situation here that's coming but the whole situation that will appear that will happen it was all created for you and the universe trying to tell you do you know how delicate the situation was created just for you to receive and I think the universe wants you to be grateful for here and now. Even if nothing's going on in your life right now, soon there will be this change. It's already happening. You just don't see it yet. But the universe wants you to ahead be already in the vibration like it's already here. That's how you manifest. You're already in this energy. Doesn't mean you have to sit and wait for anybody. No. But you have to be uplifted in order to completely manifest the situation how it's supposed to be. But definitely something good. Uh, guys, when it happens, please come back to this video. Let me know what, what's going on here. I'm like, I'm, I'm so curious about uh, this is so interesting here. I, I wasn't sure. It's just that, like I wasn't sure what kind of message will happen and like I'm excited because usually um, I know the topic and here is just like you something you're currently manifesting and you are okay uh, let's go to pile number two thank you guys well hello pile two whoever chose uh, this red star I hope your reading will be as much as excited as the pile one <laughs> Let's see what kind of message the universe wants to give you and what are you currently manifesting. Let's see what exactly you manifesting here and now and uh, what message you need to know about this manifestation. Something that you need to know and the universe wants you to know actually. So what are you manifesting? Coughing. Interesting. And the message is courtship. Let me see. I need to confirm something. Don't be upset. This doesn't mean anything. This is this is actually a good card. First of all, it talks about your ancestors here, okay? Um, surrounding this reading. But let's see. What exactly going on? What are you manifesting? Palzo. The chariot. Wow. Pile two. So first of all, right away I want to say for pile two is completely different from pile one. This is about your work, career, money, finances. Okay. Of course, you can put it as something else. If you feel like it resonates in a different way, you can, you know, add up things. Um, but I'm going to talk about what I see here. Okay. And it's very specific here. This is about your work, job, career. And why do we have a coffin here? Your ancestors, since we started with them, want you to quit something. I'm not encouraging you to quit your job. <laughs> okay, this is, I'm just channeling. But let's see what they're trying to tell you here. Uh, for those who, for a long time, don't know how to quit their job, how to move on from where they're working, how to get their life better financially, how to change things around. Uh, right now, what's changing is this position of your stagnation. And even if you're working 20 years in the same place, still, there needs to be a change. It's time to let go. And that's what... Um, the universe and including your ancestors trying to tell you here 
uh, and what they saying is you moving ahead with the chariot uh, you moving ahead but this is like uh, practical this is not when you impulsively just quit your job no either you already thinking about it for, uh, for some some time sorry guys either you already it's on your mind or uh, you're not thinking about it because you're afraid to quit because you afraid what if you're not gonna find a better job but the thing is it, certain things already manifesting because probably you uh, subconsciously wanted this to happen or you uh, maybe complained about your work from time to time and now you manifest in this change but this change might be a bit scary for you why because you don't really expect it because you it was just in your head you didn't really feel like actually doing that or you were afraid or you don't know what's next but guess what i'm asking where are you going what's happening three of pen you have eight of pentacles three of pentacles judgment and eight of wands and i want to tell you here guys be uh open-minded in a close future close two three weeks i hear be open-minded be uh thoughtful be open to new opportunities because there will be uh, i sense the energy that comes towards you with new offers those offers could come from random people strangers your family members your friends it's like s some people will try to um either give you an advice about your job, job work or career either a try to promote you somewhere or offer you a job or offer you a business op uh, opportunity so don't miss out because here this change is needed for you to quit something you did for a long long time or something that didn't work for a long time and it's time to let go but you're not just letting go and just now like not going anywhere no i see that you will get a lot of opportunities so if you truly get a good um vibe from someone's offers at least try to hear them out try to think how you can possibly do that because here you can have a very good chance to change your life when it comes to career finances job okay something is changing and it's already uh, in your energy you manifest in this change uh, of course for those who love their job not planning or didn't plan to do anything ignore this reading this is not your reading this is for people who consciously or subconsciously wanted to change something and now here it is and then I'm asking uh, what message the universe want to tell you about this and look at this we have courtship and I want to say it's the opportunity will come from another person it's coming from outside it's not when you actually search and applying even though you could um, uh, be miserable uh, looking for something it's like it comes to you and then either you grab it or you stay where you are of course it's always your choice but here i sense there will be an individual from the outside or several individuals who will offer you something and why is it happening because the universe sending you this person or people to see if you're ready for this change and a very uh, important message here is if this time and i hear within four months if you uh, gonna um, ignore the universal signs when they send you something new doesn't mean you have to grab everything but if you're not gonna start considering this after four months the opportunities uh, or the situation of manifestation of a new job new career uh, money will uh, stop and you get back to where you were for another phase of i don't know months or even years until you get the next opportunity so be mindful with what's coming if you truly want a change this is for people who truly want a change afraid or not doesn't matter uh, expect opportunities consider them 
even by considering them you already saying yes to the to the universe you saying yes i want it i'm considering i'm not being foolish by just quitting my job or going somewhere i don't want to go or i don't know where i'm going but i'm considering it's it's like a yes to the universe so be very mindful the next four months okay um that's the message for you guys and finally one more card i'll open for you well soon one more card is there any any other message you need the emperor this opportunity that's coming can give you a lot of prosperity you can um become a new you new person maybe uh, your own boss maybe uh, you'll have you'll have higher positions maybe you'll grow in uh, your business or in your finances but you becoming the emperor uh, it doesn't matter the gender you becoming powerful you controlling your own life so be in control be this emperor here and now because how we manifest things that we are already in this energy like we already there where we want to be that's supposed to be your energy the emperor believe in yourself trust yourself trust your god your intuition you are powerful enough to make this change and uh, everyone supporting you around the universe your ancestors your angel guides including me guys go ahead don't be afraid but of course be very mindful uh, don't make foolish decisions but you know what to do right <laughs> So that's what I had for you, pile two, and I'm going for pile number three. Well, hello, pile three, whoever chose this uh, purple star. Let's see. What are you currently manifesting and what kind of message the universe trying to give you here about this manifestation? So far, so good. The previous two uh, piles were amazing. So I, I hope, I know, your pile will be also great. So let's see. Uh, what are you currently manifesting? And what message about this manifestation, what message the universe trying to give you? What are you currently manifesting? Despair. Hmm. Interesting. Don't get frustrated. Okay, let's see what's going on here. What about this despair? The devil. Five of swords and nine of wands interesting okay what are you getting from all of that strength <laughs> okay um pile number three very specific but at the same time very unique why if you're gonna feel it doesn't resonate with you or you don't feel like listening to this um just you know skip it choose another pile there are other options that are much better but don't rush because here i'm sorry guys i'm just getting messages just a second okay so you manifest in some negative experience okay and i never sugarcoat my readings i'm telling you that don't be afraid though you manifesting some situation with the devil five of swords and nine of uh, wands you manifest in certain situation and then i'm asking what are you getting from it from it your strength so you right now currently going through a certain karmic cycle or karmic lesson you get a certain lesson in order to become wiser stronger and next time not to make the same mistake and take this situation as your lesson don't be afraid of this this is actually something that will eventually play out very good for you right now it could uh, hurt it doesn't have to be something very bad i'm just saying maybe you just recently been through this maybe recently something happened but it's like you are 
manifesting and why you might have manifested this because of your negative thoughts or because you were very scared of something or because you were uh, uh, sometimes you know when things are too good we say we, we think subconsciously probably something bad about to happen you know this is all about your mind maybe you were depressed for a long time and you manifest in a negative situation but why is this happening the universe trying to tell you that your thoughts are not good and your thoughts can also can manifest good things and if you learn this lesson this time you will be in good hands <laughs> you're already in a good hands the universe watching you. even in this uh, looks like bad situation it might not be as bad because you're already watching this reading or it might not as uh, affect you because you are being watched by your guards by your uh, angels by your guides by the universe the universe actually leading you here and i'm not saying the universe uh wish something bad for somebody it's not there is no good or bad all right but our thoughts our mind is powerful so i don't know what were you thinking to manifest a certain situation but this situation will teach you i wanted to say will teach you good manners but no the uh, this situation will teach you your own strength will teach you that next time you shouldn't be afraid or next time you should think positive it's your lesson here Maybe it's going to be a cer in certain way uh, hurtful words from somebody, a betrayal. Maybe somebody um, would um, not treat you nicely. This is more with words or some deeds. I don't see here like actual bad situation. But devil will be present, uh, devil's energy, where you manifested something not that good right anyways the situation will eventually it, it's teaching you this is your teacher hmm. and interesting what kind of message the universe want to give you about this it could have already happened maybe it just happened recently wealthy man interesting let me confirm something here Wow, guys, why the universe is trying to give you this message is because you can either avoid this situation with the help of a certain individual, it could be a man or a woman, or it could be you avoiding this situation because you already know something. I don't know what you know. I don't know what you know, right? <laughs> Let me see. What can help you here? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm giving you several examples, okay? What's coming? First, it could be about money. Somebody might uh, scam you or offer you something and tell you that you may become wealthy from it, you may become rich. But in reality, this is a scam. And uh, how you can avoid it? By not giving your uh, pentacles, your money to those people. Because it's too good to be true. Other situation. Uh, what's coming through? For instance, you um, will have a uh, marriage offer or proposal in, of a certain um, kind. And it might be seen that this person is wealthy or this person is uh, coming with good intentions, but you maybe barely know them. Don't judge this person by their looks. They might come, but in reality they could have nothing or their intentions are not that good. Okay? Be careful, but you are careful. You can avoid this. But what could be bad here? You can just get disappointed. Maybe lose a little bit of money, <laughs> some money. Or uh, 
realize that the person you thought they're not who they, they said they are. Some information might may come true. Maybe even some woman will let you know that the story is different here. But because you're watching this reading and the universe preparing you for that, you can avoid disappointment. You can avoid this despair. You can avoid it. Mm -hmm. And now I understand why you needed to do this uh, message. Because when we know something, it, it cannot hurt us anymore. We're just more careful, more um, cautious about what's going on. So we easily understand what's right, what's wrong. Um, let me give you a little bit more information about this. I mean, I didn't expect that kind of reading, to tell the truth. From good to bad. <laughs> but anyways, nothing's bad here. This is only good news that you will know. Yes, you will know something that's hidden from you with the moon. Be aware. Something I just trying to lie to you or hide something from you, but it's coming uh, uh, coming to surface. It's coming. You you will know somehow. The universe will give you this information. Justice, yes. Um, you are safe. I want to say, even if something will happen, it's not gonna affect you as much as it could, if not this reading or if you were not as intuitive. But for those who, for those who already been through it, with the justice, it was your lesson, as I said in the beginning. It was your lesson, so next time you don't be fool. I'm not uh, trying to offend you guys. I'm just channeling. Don't be a fool next time. Don't make the same mistake. And that was your lesson. This is your strength. Okay, let it go. Whatever happened, happened. You just take it, it as a lesson and you move on. Starting from the scratch, okay? Okay, then uh, for you guys for pile three, I want to ask uh, Because your reading is not as positive as other readings What's coming next after that? What is your let's call it a reward from all of that lesson? The Sun comes out guys new beginning Sun new energy Recharged, you will feel recharged after that. You will feel so much power after that. You're gonna feel like, um, as I hear a sunrise after the dark, it will actually motivate you. This whole situation motivate you to do better for some reason. Hmm. Interesting. So that was your reading pile three. Let me know in comments if something like that already happened or but don't be afraid, please. Don't be afraid of this reading. Uh, it's very good to actually be aware of things ahead before it happens and face our fears. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. I love you all, and I'll see you in my other videos. Bye-bye.